on our downfall another time again after the rain for the sun gonna shine again that's right don't bust no u-turns because we ain't forgetting it. and to all y'all that switch suck my let's go yeah 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 suck my what what you talking down the family name man you wildin what Get i dare one of you niggas scream out no diddy Bro, glow with me. Baddies, they ready to go with me. I just nod and they know to go get them. Might see me with some pretty with me, but ain't no with me. I just laid back and that Virgil made back. That like 450. Police raid the crib like they think we selling crack. We but we that. out here selling tracks. Multi million dollar plaques. Rather put this wax. All that gossip wax. When all they had was 50 cent. Who put this city on the map? Stop lying. Possibly hated on by many men. And nigga, that's fine. They gon' try to stop these Eminems, and they gon' die trying. Pull up to the south side, we locked in, we got ties. Don't give a f about no blogs, cause we really outside. Hey yo, CZ, what the f these niggas talking about? Niggas say it's war time, then it's war, nigga. What we doing? Niggas playing with niggas' names and all that. Yo, yo, it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. UPTV, make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in and you gotta go through life at times expecting the unexpected. Cause one thing I did not expect yesterday was Diddy's son, Christian, to pop out and drop a diss record at 50 Cent and everybody saying no Diddy. As he's saying, ain't no more no Diddy out here, nigga. They get that niggas for that from here on out. And I'm laughing and joking with it, bro. As he do got that other little song getting put out, I was rocking with that one, the one he just did on, on the radar. This one right here kind of seemed like the flow was off and things of that nature, but he defended his family name. He a grown man. He like, hey, bro, I got to get out there and stand on business. Niggas disrespecting the fam. You heard him go directly at 50 Cent. Talked about we got ties in the South Side and 50 Hood. Then he played off the mini man name and everything like that. Well, when he did that, 50 Cent, of course, was going to respond. Went to Instagram and Twitter, made several posts going at him, telling him and did he even more about the situation. Well, that eventually led to Meek Mill getting involved in it. Now, Meek Mill put out several tweets, went directly at 50 Cent, was popping it, talking it, going at him, calling 50 out for this, uh, talking about his relationship with his son and things of that nature, saying he was federal. He just kept tweeting and tweeting. Of course, the blogs picked that up. It went everywhere. Everybody was talking about it. And I most definitely expected 50 Cent to uh, respond to that as well, as he came to Twitter and said this now. You sold 6K copies your last project. You should not be on vacation, still chasing the dream or embracing the nightmare, standing by your man that I respect. Then he put up the video of me performing this stage on stage and everything, and Diddy was right there cutting up, acting a fool. This is one of the ones they were circulating online when the lawsuit came out to mock Diddy and uh, Meek Mill and stuff, and he said, I commend you for being a strong, supportive woman for your man, Meek. Stay by his side, and together you guys may have a good life. God bless. And I'll tell you like this right here, bro. 50 Cent is going to troll. He on brand. This is what he do. Came in the game beefing. Came in the game using what I call the all capital C's controversy, chaos, conflict, confusion, and confrontation. Going to be my main conversation. And I'm going to use that chaos to market album sales, to promote any brand that I come out with. 50 understands that on his market side. Everybody don't do that, though. So when you go at him, he gonna most definitely keep it going. That nigga wakes up and thinks about ways how can I market this and go at people. Now, Meek Mill, I tell you this, right now on the internet for him, it's a bad narrative online. So anytime he say something, people gonna pick at him, even when he is speaking real things. He be saying real stuff. He be putting out real information and facts. But when you got put as that person on the line and on the internet, people don't care. That's why you can't come to the internet to really get some opinions out. But I respect any nigga, no matter what the narrative is on the internet about me, if you're going to come out there and speak the real, speak the real. Certain people going to be able to see through it. Certain people only going to look at you and say, well, hey, nah, nigga, who is you to do this? This is a contradiction. That's a contradiction. Well, you remember when you did this or you did that? And I do got to say this once again. Diddy, his son, they lawsuits and things that they have been through. 
are not found guilty on anything in the criminal court. There's no proof, no evidence, no videotape. We haven't saw any of that yet. Innocent until proven guilty on everything they accused of. And I want to make this clear. If there was something to come out, that would be a different conversation. I don't know what Homeland Security, I don't know what the FBI got going. I don't know what evidence they have behind the scenes. So if somebody has seen that, that's a different story. But right now, to the public, I was in the media. This is all based off of the lawsuits, the thing that the media has, all off the Leroy lawsuit is the things that got put on the news publications and things like that, plus what happened with Cassie and the other lawsuits. But nobody is criminally charged. Nobody has been arrested. We haven't seen any evidence of proof. So I do got to keep it fair when it comes to Diddy, Christian, Justin, their entire fam, bro. We haven't saw any of that yet. And Diddy is fighting. They have all claimed that they are innocent. And that's just that right now. But 50 Cent, Meek Mill, once again, if y'all don't remember, they stuff go back to some years ago. I remember they fell out on stage a, a little bit after that when uh one of Meek Mill and 50 Homies Trav out of New York was up there too. And something was going down between them and it became something. And then already with Meek being with Rick Ross at MMG, it probably was some little stuff there, but they kept it cool. But I think that was kind of got to that turning point and everything like that. But we'll see what happened. Tell me what y'all think. These dudes is multi-millionaires. All of them successful, all of them making money. I just keep this entertainment. We don't need nothing spilling over, getting real, because that ain't going to do nothing for nobody. But if y'all want to entertain the internet, y'all want to pop it and talk y'all stuff, you know, this is a part of the game as well. The uh, negative conversations go, go farther than the positive ones at times, but everybody want to be entertained at times. And as long as nobody getting hurt, nobody going to jail, I ain't with the just disrespecting niggas and clowning niggas. And I understand anybody defending their name also, but this is just the world we live in. Now, tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.